Like, <laughs> but welcome back to another video. So this is the look that I created. So I went ahead and I already did one eye because it was kind of time consuming. And I thought of this look last night. So I was like, why not just do it right now? Thank you, Tom. Yeah, you can hear me. Um, so yeah, I thought about this look last night and I was like, why not film this look? Cause I was I wasn't even gonna film honestly today. I was just gonna like chill, but I was like, you know what? I gotta keep consistent. I gotta keep going on this treadmill and don't stop. But anyways, um, yeah, this is the look. I really like it, and it goes with my dress. I'm wearing like this tie dye sundress. But on, see, see, I just love the colors in it. I'm just a dark person. If you guys haven't realized that, mm, these loops. Always an issue with these fucking lips. Let's go ahead and get started with this look. I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know. I'm I just feel like ch chatting with you guys, but I don't know about what yet. So I don't I don't know what what's to chat about. My first tattoo. Y'all wanna talk about it? Okay, let's, let's do that. We're gonna talk about my first tattoo and when I got it done while I'm doing my makeup and you know just kind of get to know me. So also for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lorena Medina and I love makeup. I started doing YouTube because I love makeup and I always have people asking me why don't you do YouTube Lorena or do you do makeup and stuff like that and I do but right now I have COVID so um I can't do makeup and obviously like for obvious reasons I can still do makeup but I can't go and do it for you guys you know so sorry I am getting better though uh, my breathing is the only thing that's really fucking me up. Like, right now, dude, okay, just do this, okay? Just do this and you'll know where the fuck I'm coming from. Do like this. Good. Ugh, damn, I look like a fucking toad. That was a badass man. Okay, your two, your thumb and your index finger, and you go right, and you put it right under your tonsils. Do somewhat of a little pressure. Dude, that's exactly how my breathing is. Just like that. Oh, let's not do that. And then I feel like some kind of congestion on my chest. But it's clear. Like right now, it's kind of difficult to breathe. I don't know. It's just really weird. They said that I went to the hospital and I have a vlog on that. So I haven't uploaded it yet, but I will do that after I'm done editing this video. I'll go ahead and update the vlog because I did go and make a second trip to the hospital. Um, and they actually told me what the fuck was wrong with me. We're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about when I got my tattoo. First, we are gonna go in with this makeup look and I'm gonna show you guys what palettes and products I'm gonna be using and you know, and to chat with you guys. We're gonna use this Jaclyn Hill palette, volume two. I really recommend getting this palette. It has a lot of translucent shades that makes it so easy for you to blend. Like by that, what I, I mean is like, you won't fuck up as much like with the blending if you don't blend it out a lot, you know what I mean? The second palette that we're gonna go in with, it's the Central Violet Boss palette. And then also this orange neon pigment color that I got from an Instagram page that I do not remember. But I ended up finding this um, Instagram page that does sell neon pigments. And I looked at the reviews and I did all that so that you guys could go ahead and purchase it if you guys are interested. All the items that I have used will be in the description box down below so that you guys can go ahead and check it out while I'm doing my makeup. So let's get started. I already primed my eyelids. With the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade 355 Vanilla. We're gonna go in with Home Body, and this is gonna be our transition what color. Do you guys have? So let's see. See how you can see the this color right here up top over here. The reason why I always put the transitioning color on the very top of like the eyebrow bone, it's because so that we can get a chance to see it and see the transitioning colors. You know what I mean? Damn. So we are gonna go ahead better, and just dab. Also, brushes, um, I literally get them from everywhere. The only thing that you have to look in a brush, it does not have to be brand brushes. So the kind of brushes that you guys have to honestly just look for, like see these, I think, I don't even know where the fuck I got them, honestly. But see these brushes, I don't even know where the fuck I got them. But see how it's like so fluffy, like you can kind of tell that it'll work. Well, that's like, I don't know that's how like based on how fluffy it is and like the texture of the fur or like the fuzziness um that's what i go off of 
Anyways, so we're gonna go on with the story oh, about oh, um my first tattoo uh, that my mom didn't know at the time. I wasn't a rebel child, but like I don't even know what kind of child I really was, cause I was a scary cat. But then again, like I was a crybaby. I still am, so nothing really has changed. And I'm still daring as fuck. Like, I'm so down to do anything, even if it's, like, risky. I like that riskiness kind of stuff. I'm also obedient when needed. I guess I know when not to take it too far, you feel me? Like, I'm that. And I'm also, people say that they get, like, this mother vibe from me way before I even have a kid. Um, which is funny. Because I'd be like, uh, I don't think we should do that. But then after that, I'd be like, all right, fuck it, let's do it. And if we get in trouble, we get in trouble and it's your fault. So, I got my first tattoo when I was... I was already of age, I think. Yeah, I was already of age. Oh, I was already of age whenever I got my tattoo. Yeah. And my mom, you know, with, like, Hispanics or just with your parents, period. Um, They're really, like, strict with tattoos. I mean, especially if your parents are, like, old school they're gonna be like, why did you get, you know what I mean? They'll, they'll trip, they'll trip, and they'll fucking rip that shit off your skin. And I know my mom, she would have done that shit, so that's why I never told you. So don't have, you know, I'm not gonna tell you how to raise your kid, but have your kids have trust in you, okay? I think there was like some hurricane. Yeah, there was like a hurricane or whatever, and we ended up going to Louisiana, because uh, our aunt, our aunt, she lives yeah, in Louisiana. Yeah, and um yeah. we ended up going over there because of the tornado and we stayed we stayed there for a whole week it was it was lit as fuck it was with my uh favorite cousin the one that you guys saw in the last video on like the kidnapping oh, of um no, mexico bro, or like you know when they, yeah i know what i mean so yeah i was with her my cousin she already had tattoos before us so you know um one day we just decided like to go out and shop and then i think i don't know whose idea it was hers or i don't know whose but we were high and when we do stuff when we're high we don't really think we think but and i'm just like oh but you know what i was just like fuck it let's do it Let's I fucking do it. Me, so I was like, I did not low key kind of fall into peer pressure. I'm not gonna lie. And my tattoo is pretty and cute, so there's no uh, let me, let me, regret uh, about that. I can't yeah, show you guys my tattoo, but I will leave a picture so you guys can see it. We had just decided to one day just, you know, go out and go shopping. And then we stopped over to get some. It was like a trend back then. It was like cereal in a cup. And then when you like would take it out, it was like really foggy and shit. You know what I'm talking about? It looked like you were smoking. So you kind of felt like, ooh, like, you know, I'm that bad bitch. The next, we're going to go in with the Violet Voss. We're going to go in with cinnamon. So when we went to go ahead and we got some of that cereal stuff, right next to it, there was a tattoo shop. And we were, we were all in pain. My cousin, though, she had already had um, gotten a tattoo, so she already knew what she was going in and signing up for. My sister and I, we were virgins. And we didn't. We did not know what the fuck we were doing. We were just high and stupid, and we were just like, fuck it. Fuck it, and let's do it. And we walked in the house, and we were in fucking pain, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. We spent the night over and slept with our cousin. So we were in the room and you know, we would like talk about it, go outside yeah. through the window and smoke. It was like times, it really was. It really was. Her dumbass fucking fell off the trampoline. Was it her or Liliana? Cause I know it wasn't my dumbass. My ass is clumsy, not that clumsy. I can be. But. Oh no. I know it wasn't my ass though. She kind of knew like the healing process and like what to put on. So she had already had all that in her room. So we were like set, honestly. But it was it was lit. That day when we were. We were just bad. We weren't bad, but we were really sneaky kids. Because like I said, my mom, she was like, you know, she was real strict. Okay, she wasn't real strict, but I mean, she was, but it's out of love. So I appreciate you, mother. And I understand now why, because the world is such a dirty fucking place. 
just not everything <laughs> i'm a very open-minded person so wherever like i don't know but i ain't too big now we're gonna go on with the wet and wild eyeliner to create the eyeliner and yeah so that's how we got away with getting a tattoo my aunt found out she never told my mama yeah you're a real g she would have fucking skinned her ass like are you gonna tattoo let me brand you like literally that's how fucking mexican moms are or that's how old people like not old people that's how old school people are so this is how it turned out to look i'm gonna go ahead and add some pictures too or like a slow motion video so that you guys can kind of see how it is even though you guys can't see it right now and it's a video itself so i don't know but i just liked it i just thought of it last night and i was just like why not and i have the dress too it was just like it all fitted in so well Oops. so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video let's play a little bit of music while you guys leave i'm a little man Yeah, she got it wet, yeah, 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 y